In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your mass airflow sensor. This is what it looks like. Ours comes with the, this tube here, the whole assembly. This is the actual sensor part, and I'll show you how to replace just this if you need to. But it's located inside the air filter housing, so we'll have to take this apart. So let's get started. I'm going to first start by pulling up on the air filter housing assembly. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to pop this out. It has these two tabs here that lock into these two bushings. So sometimes you gotta use a little force. Next, pop open this clamp and make sure that it lets go of this half. Once this half is off, you can take your air filter and sometimes it'll be a little stuck on here just because the rubber gets stuck over time. But pop it right off. As you can see, this one wasn't too bad, but it also doesn't look the best. So we'll go ahead and set that one aside. And with that out, you'll notice that underneath there's a wire. Go ahead and gently pull down on this rubber gasket here and then grab this piece. This actually, you can see it moves around and you can simply slide it out. Back here, you'll see the connector. Press on the tab, try to slide that out. Sometimes it's easier if you come in with a pocket screwdriver on the other side to pry up on the connector. There we go. One more thing we have to disassemble is to take these two 10 millimeter bolts out to release the sensor from this mounting plate. So, like I said, 10 millimeter. Just gonna go ahead and take these off of here. And with those aside, you can separate these and here's your mass airflow sensor. Now, ours comes with this tube here. Um, this is the actual sensor. So if you had to replace just the sensor itself, this part, you would take a T20H bit. Um, it has to be the safety locking bit because it has that little tab in the center and your socket or your bit needs to have a hole to accommodate for that. And you would just unscrew these, put the new sensor in, screw them back in. But like I said, ours comes with this piece, the whole assembly, so it's a lot easier. So take your new sensor, and if you look at this uh, plate here, you'll see these two arrows that will indicate the direction of the wires that need to face down. So basically line up the direction of these wires here with these um, arrows. So on the back side, it'll look something like that. It's going to have two tabs that need to line up, and then two bolts here and here. So let's go ahead and start these in and snug these up. Okay, now we can take the mass airflow assembly, plug it back in, make sure it clicks. Now we line up all the cutouts. It's gonna have two cutouts here that need to line up to the left side over here, one at the top, one at the bottom, and two more on the right side. As long as you line all of them up, you can press it into place. Now you would take your air filter, slide it on, make sure you press it in all the way. Take the other half of this housing, slide it over the air filter, make sure the tab here lines up at the top with the groove, press it into place, and it should line up at the bottom as well. Sometimes this clamp will get in your way. Okay, that lines up perfectly. Get the clamp over. Lock the clamp down, and as long as it's locked around the whole perimeter, you should be good. Make sure you push this connection back in. You can drop this down back into its grommets, resecure it, and off you go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.